Hello and welcome to the Castle at Park Plaza in Boston, Massachusetts for this BoxingHerald.com presentation of the middleweight fight between Edwin Rodriguez and Hector Hernandez. We'd also like to welcome in our viewers joining us in the United Kingdom and worldwide at SecondSouth.com. My name is Peter Zimbor, joined alongside my broadcast partner Dan Horgan. Dan, Edwin Rodriguez, a very hot young prospect, has a great amateur background, but in top tonight against Hector Hernandez. Certainly, Peter. Considering Rodriguez's amateur background and and his background as a 6-0 pro, he's obviously one of the hotter prospects in the sport today. But considering the past combined record of his opponents, a putrid 18-34-2, it's quite obvious that he's been in very soft thus far in his career. Tonight, Hernandez is supposed to be the first true test of Rodriguez's young career. But Hernandez might be more than a test. This guy did not come to lay down. He's been in with great opposition, including the son of Tommy Hearns, Ronald Hearns. And he's definitely coming for the upset tonight, Peter. Well, we spoke with both fighters yesterday, and Edwin Rodriguez seems confident, and so does Hector Hernandez. I got like 10 wins with two losses and two draws, but the losses that I have, I, th I believe I lost to the best of the best out there, and I beat the best of the best. I lost to Rano Hearns, Farisha Heed, like two really tough, good fighters, and no excuses, and, you know, I just continue my boxing career, and I came out with two winnings, and I just want to keep winning. I know it's going to go well. I prepare myself really, really well for this fight. So I should have no problem um, I'm working hard. I have a lot of talent, and I'm just going to showcase it tomorrow. You know, the first true test of the young career of Edwin Rodriguez as a pro, we'll see if he passes. We mentioned has an outstanding amateur pedigree, former two-time national amateur champion, and as a pro, has Peter Manfredo Sr. working his corner. Of course, Peter Manfredo Sr., the father of former super middleweight world championship challenger, Peter Manfredo Jr., who gained a lot of fame from being seen on the Contender Series. And we're ready to get round one underway, six rounds middleweights, Edwin Rodriguez and Hector Hernandez. And some folks are saying this could steal the show. Right off the bat, Hernandez is the aggressor. Right hook by Rodriguez comes in. And Hector Hernandez threw a left. I thought it caught Rodriguez a little bit, but didn't appear to do any damage as they're both swinging a little bit wildly. Edwin Rodriguez has fought here at the castle in Boston before. Both Quite used to fighting in Boston. Both fighters seem very anxious to get at it, Peter. Nice one, two moments ago by Hernandez. And nice uppercut. I don't know if it landed, but Rodriguez threw an uppercut. Didn't land as cleanly as I thought it had initially. And woo, briefly, Rodriguez knocked off Bass a little bit. Eats a left hook from Hernandez. Rodriguez and tends to be very vulnerable to that left hand. Look out for that the rest of the night tonight. Yeah, Hector Hernandez having some success in the early goings of the six-round middleweight bout. And dodged that left hook beautifully, did Rodriguez, and came in with some shots of his own. By well, the tone of their bodies, Peter, both men appear to be in great shape. This one has been signed for many weeks, so both fighters knew this bout was on the horizon. And in preparation for it, appeared to have got themselves in the best shape possible. Edwin Rodriguez has had one fight scheduled for six rounds prior to this, but has never been forced to go six rounds. Five of the six victories have come by way of knockouts. We mentioned Rodriguez doing some damage here. He's doing some good work. The lone match of Rodriguez's to go the distance was a four-round affair. And he scored quite a few knockdowns in that fight, and it was here at the Castle in Boston. Both fighters thus far have done some good work. Rodriguez more so lately. And Rodriguez and Hernandez both warned by the official to keep their punches high. And ooh, nice shot by Hernandez. And Rodriguez was briefly off balance.
And good uppercut by Rodriguez. Ten seconds remaining in the first round. Both fighters thought it was the end of the round and started to walk <laughs> to the corners. The referee advised them to keep on fighting. And the bell sounds to end round number one. Interesting round to score, Dan. As I mentioned, both fighters did some good work. Rodriguez looked to be knocked off balance at least once, but did land some good shots of his own on Hector Hernandez. How do you score that fight?